Chivalry 2 Beta. This game I just started right here right now and oh my lord this was quite the surprise for myself. You're actually watching my first match ever uh, right here on this particular video and then I actually uploaded my secondary match uh, which is now just raw footage uh, laying on the channel. Anyways I wanted to record this video before people have had a chance to kind of decide on the beta because this is really 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 awesome. Now as you can see this game is certainly arcadey rather than like a full-on realism in fact realism takes like a second seat maybe even a tertiary seat in this case as it is all blood and gore and you can see that it's complete pandemonium as the teams march into the different parts of the castle here anyways the way that it works is you do have or at least on the beta you do have this game mode which is essentially like a conquest if you will if you're familiar with battlefield for example and what you do is you initially start outside of the castle if you're the attacking team you have a couple of siege towers of which you start to push them up by being around them and you are rewarded with points for that until you get to the enemy's walls of which then you fight a little bit on the walls and after you take the walls assuming that you do take the walls then you go into this sort of courtyard fight that you've seen right here and then you push up another set of siege towers smaller ones but into the more precious inner keep of which you have a little bit of a battle over there some trebuchets are on uh, are on display as well plus some ballistas and everything that you have to kind of fight your way through assuming that you're attacking and then after that you get to the king's keep and then a really 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 fun battle is had between your team the attacking team and the defending team the defending team will actually reward their highest point player with sort of like a massive buff if you will that makes them uh, extra strong extra beefy and and extra formidable and basically the goal is at the end to defeat that one player and once you defeat that one player the game is over the attacking team has won or by contrast if the defending team uh, act you know accurately defends him then they will win now as you can see there are four or well, actually maybe you can't see right here but there are four different classes of which you have an archer you have a knight you have sort of like a foot sold or footman and then uh, the other one I actually didn't get to actually but with that said there's a lot to kind of play around with to different teams basically the red and the blue team although they do have some uh, specific names as well but that's not important just red and blue does it anyways i had a lot of fun with the emotes in this game as well you can sort of yell all sorts of different obscenities to your surrounding players and it seems like everyone's kind of yelling the whole damn time too it sounds very funny actually uh in the way that you kind of get involved in like these battle cries <laughs> amongst your your team and also the enemy team here too so anyways we've spoken about the sort of gameplay uh mechanics we've spoken about the different classes and as far as the gameplay goes as you can see right here I'm actually wielding a bit of a uh, bit of a bow and arrow which it, which was actually pretty damn fun. It's definitely an arcadey uh, move with the bow and arrow, but it actually is. Uh, I, I do think that it's actually well balanced, especially considering that uh, this is you know essentially a beta right now, and this is not the full game as you can see, uh, elo elo so eloquently displayed on the right hand portion of the screen. Anyways, with that said, graphically speaking, uh, it's pretty nice, pretty good. Although I imagine, or at least I'm told, that ray tracing will be added after launch so so they actually will have ray tracing support and i do believe or at least i have it in my mind that the graphic fidelity just in general will have greater presentation and uh and just and just higher levels as well once the game actually fully releases but i may be wrong on that anyways i'm really recording this video for the people who are you know thinking about this game uh looking for or looking at the beta and being like should i should I, you know should i uh, should i drop 40 bucks or, or 40 euros or whatever the hell it is on this game in order to uh, in order to experience that i would actually suggest yes especially if you're familiar with like a Mordhau. I've actually never played Mordhau myself, but they do, at least from my research, look incredibly similar. But this game, I think, has a little bit more polish. And on top of that, uh, all of the different sort of intricacies with how you kind of swing your weapon and all the different weapon types make for some really, 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 really deep battles, which if someone knows what the hell they're doing, they can take on multiple opponents. Uh, I wouldn't say no problem, but they can certainly take on multiple opponents. I mean, you actually see some battles here where it's like one versus three, one versus five, and the one guy actually kind of survives it. Now, I imagine that a lot of, uh, a lot of people are just very, very new like myself and probably just not used to this game game but you know you have to block you have to parry you have to uh, manage all your different swings there's different sort of uh drags that you can do with your swings that changes the swings midair you can feign attacks you can switch attacks it's really really cool the way that there actually is incredible depth to this combat you know it looks pretty damn simple at first just swing your sword or swing whatever pointy ended weapon that you have but uh but there's certainly a lot more to it and it's very rewarding when you get it right too um as you can see the point based system is very reminiscent of battlefield uh of the battlefield 
Battlefield series in general, you know, you always get points when you're sort of fighting around like an objective or you're helping out your team, obviously doing a little bit of killing or providing some sort of utility to the players around you. That really does make you feel like this is a team effort, even though it does also feel very chaotic pretty much the whole damn time as just you you basically see like red waves and blue waves continuously run at run run at each other, which is absolutely hilarious. But with all of that said, this game is incredibly enjoyable, and I actually imagine that this game is going to be humongous for myself. Now, obviously, I'm speaking personally here, and everyone's going to have different sort of idea, uh, you know, ideas on that. But if you're just looking for, you know, some, you know, some sort of a new generation, I imagine of Mordhau with more functionality. Uh, this 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 is definitely a game worth considering. I mean, I've had an immense amount of fun just the uh, 30 minutes to an hour uh, that I've had thus far playing this. Really want to get this video out as fast as possible, mostly so that people who are on the edge here can uh, have a bit more insight into what this game is all about. Because as you can see, uh, as I kind of spar with this guy right here, it is just it's, it's just a it's just a laugh, man. Uh, the whole damn time that I was playing this, I was, you know, I was, I was chuckling. No, I was having a I was having like a good old laugh as uh, all the gang bangs going to and fro was just uh, was just hilarious especially with the shit talking that you can do with the emotes Anyways, I don't want to get too much more into this one or make this uh, more lengthy than it really needs to be. I'll record a more in-depth review probably at the end of the weekend after I've you know had a full three or four days uh, to play this. But thus far, first impressions are really, really cool, really, really fun, really, 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 really engaging. And I imagine that uh, this game is going to turn out to be a pretty damn competitive game as you are assuming that you can organize 30 plus people together. Then <laughs> this would be just so fucking cool when you actually get it right and set up defenses and, and attacks, you know, in certain ways and really try to maneuver around the enemy and, uh, and outsmart them. But even just having these little sparring matches, uh, like you'd see right here, where, you know, you block, you parry, then you <laughs> then you dismember them, as you can see, because I'm fucking sadistic, uh, <laughs> are, just, are just so, they're so addictive, man. They're so damn addictive. And, uh, and and that's also another thing that I should mention actually while we're here. Maybe I'll try to keep this video just, just under 10 minutes long, but uh, but basically, it is really fucking gory. It's really, 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 really brutal. Now, I love that, but I imagine, you know, some people out there who are perhaps similar to my girlfriend who can't handle any sort of blood and guts or gore, well, that's going to be a major issue. But fair enough. Uh, again, I imagine for the person who's even just considering this to begin with, you probably already know that, but certainly worth mentioning as we do progress through this castle over here. And actually, the, uh, you know, looking around the castle, which I don't do too much in this video right here, and I will do on, on future videos, um, it's just really, really scenic, actually. There's some pretty damn cool uh, far out draw distances, uh, sort of graphical, um, uh, just I don't, I, what, what word am I looking for? Assets. Yeah, graphical assets kind of shown. And, uh, and as you kind of just take your time to slow down amongst all of the chaos and look around, it's actually quite beautiful in a really fucked up way. And as you can see right here, actually, this is a perfect moment. So you can see that uh, we're kind of overlooking on this bridge water or it looks now but there are actually trebuchets in the background firing at some sort of position on the beach there too it just looks pretty damn cool man and as you can see right there too you can actually revive your teammates and you get more points for that as well and then you have you know your rank up systems as well so the four different classes you progress at different um, uh, paces uh, depending upon which class that you're using obviously and you can unlock pretty much most things it seems like uh, maybe even in, in the first day as I unlocked uh, it's what seemed like uh, a lot of stuff in like the uh, hour or so that I played it. So I imagine that's probably sped up for the beta so that people can experience more of this game and uh, kind of decide for themselves. But uh, but so far, so good. Oh, also forgot to mention, you do have kind of secondary weapons as well. And there's just there's just so much stuff to go over. So you know what? I'm actually going to save that for the video at the end of this weekend. I want to keep this one nice and short. I think that we've shown up enough gameplay over here. Whoa, massive trebuchet blast coming down. By the way, fire, very deadly in this game. I learned that one the hard way. And, uh, and we'll come back later this weekend with a full-on review, a really, really in-depth one. But for now, I hope that you enjoy. If you're on the fence about this game, I I, I give it my full uh, I give it my full approval on this one as I absolutely fucking loved it. Anyways, with that said, I'm going to wish you well. Take care and see you soon.